future belongs to those who know where they belong. You're different. You can control your fears. They call it divergent. Ansel and Veronica, pleasure to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. I have to say, I just saw the film last night. Love the film. Good. Love the Good. film, love the book. I mean, I love oh. the book first. <laughs> You went to Barrington High School. I did. I went to Hoffman Estates. Oh my god! So we're practically cousins. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. And then you went to Northwestern. Yeah. So you have Chicago roots here. I do. So did that weigh heavily on choosing Chicago as your backdrop of these books? You know, I think it happened a little unconsciously, actually. Okay. So I wrote the rough draft, and it wasn't really set in any particular place. It was just, you know, urban environment. But I had these trains that were running constantly above ground, and this like marsh that was a lake. And when I revised, I thought the book could benefit from a distinct sense of place and I realized it was already in Chicago. And Ansel, I gotta say, when uh, yesterday, when I went to this uh, screening, during the credits, I was watching and you know, um, Shailene's name came up a, lot, a few cheers, Theo's name came up a few cheers. When your name came up on the opening credits, it was shrieking 13 year olds galore. So, I have to say, you are like a heartthrob in the making. How does that kind of feel? I'm sure it's obviously an awkward question, but how is that? I don't know, it's weird, you know? It's, uh... It's happening, I'm just doing my thing, it's happening, and it's, it's, it's real, it's nice. And how did you get the role of Caleb? I, you know, I, I auditioned like any other actor would have. I was excited about it, loved the world, mm -hmm. um, and then I made the tape for four, and then eventually uh, it ended up becoming Caleb, and I'm, I'm super glad that I got to play Caleb. I'm just, I'm not like them. I mean, who is? They're crazy. Maybe I can go back to abnegation. You can't go back. I know, but... I'm never going to let you do that. I think you should go. Well, not to get ahead of ourselves, but Allegiant, the third book, you actually released in October of last year. Right. So did you, because obviously you filmed Divergent before that release date. Mm -hmm. Was there any sort of watching how the filmmaking, you were a co-producer on this film, was any part watching the filmmaking change the way that you decided to round out the series in any way or no? No, it just made it a little creepy because you suddenly feel like you're controlling real people instead of <laughs> characters. So I tried to, as much as possible, shut out the actors, you know, from my imagination. Sure. Uh, not because I don't love them, but because it was like, no, I can't do this to Shailene, you know, like, or, or Theo sure. or whatever. So um, it was important to keep that separation for me. Sure. Well, question for both of you. How was the energy on the set? It was good, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah Very a lot friendly. Of, a lot of young people, too, so that, that's awesome, you know. Uh, uh, and you and Tony Goldwyn were like buddy, buddies, right? Yeah, we were like father son. The president? Mm -hmm. Scandal? The president? Yeah, I see. I saw one episode of that. Nice. Just only for him. Okay. I didn't watch that show normally. It's pretty it's scandalous, scan no pun scandalous intended. For me. Is it? <laughs> yeah, You're only 19, so we gotta only be careful. 19, exactly. I can't watch Don't want to corrupt you too yeah. early. No, but I watched it for Tony. I think my sister was watching it. Uh, and, um, but yeah, me and Tony, I think the last three nights that he was on set before he wrapped, we went to dinner all three nights. Awesome. Well, Veronica, were there parts, where you, being a co-producer, were there parts of the book that you had to cringe when they would try to maybe take slight of part of it out? Was there anything that you had to fight for to make sure it got in the film? Um, really, the only intervention I ever did was about when they didn't know what was going to happen in the third book, and they would set up something that wasn't going to work. And okay. I would just step in and be like, like, don't do that, you'll regret it. Mm. You know, if we make the rest of these movies, like, just so you know, like, sure. that's not going to work. But, other than that, I mean, I try to keep a really open mind. Okay. I know that it's a different medium. I really just wanted it to be a really good movie. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you try to take the book and, you know, exactly replicate it, mm -hmm. it makes for kind of a confusing or, you know, not so great movie. Sure. So I was really happy to see, uh, to see it kind of transform and to take a new life and to just see a different interpretation of the book. But I do think, having seen it, that it's pretty close. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really it not, it hasn't deviated nearly as much as I anticipated. Well, yeah. thank you. This was a great film. I am super excited. I am a, I'm a realist, but I do think it's going to do very well at the box office. And I'm very excited to hopefully interview you guys for Insurgent. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. The world is changing. You'll have to decide who you're loyal to. All of my life, I've lived by your rules. Not anymore.